This week we are learning about the climate and global warming through the seven components. Reading, writing, listening, speaking, vocabulary, grammar, review. Hi, welcome to week 18. Gary Mills here with you again. I've been reading your emails for this week and we've got some great ones asking about some tips for public speaking. Uh, very good question. I do a lot of public speaking, so I'm quite quite uh, you know, excited to share some tips with you. I know I thought I'd, I found a really good example we can talk about which relates to climate change and that was Leonardo DiCaprio's speech to the United Nations back in 2014 about climate change. So um, you can go online and find a link to the speech and I'll just talk about some of those and some of the key points uh, that made this such a, a great speech um, about climate change. The first one is Leonardo used strong emotional words and also used some really strong visual descriptions. So this, this is more than just words. And some examples of that are uh, he used choked by industrial pollution, rainforests that have been incinerated, the sea level rising is flooding major streets in cities. Uh, he also used words like astonished and terrified, uh, all very powerful words that get emotions happening. And he also used what we call a metaphor to describe it. He said, climate change, ha change has become a runaway freight train, bringing with it an impending disaster for all living things. So he used a description of a train out of control that's going to destroy everything to describe climate change. And this, um, the reason we use these metaphors is because it appeals to a different part of the brain. So rather than just looking at statistics or numbers, he's using a visual uh, image to, to get people to understand how powerful uh, his message is. The second point is uh, he made it personal to everyone in the room. So he made it, uh, made it very clear about why this was a problem for everybody in the room and why it mattered to them. And some of the ways he did that was he said, now think about the shame that each of us will carry when our children and grandchildren look back. He also said, this is the only body that can do what is needed. You sitting in this very hall. He also said, the world is now watching you will either be lauded by future generations or vilified by them. So very, very powerful personal messages to the room. And in the closing statement, the, one of the last things he said was, we ask you to protect it, or we and all th living things we cherish are history. And the third point that he used really well that I tip that I'd like to share with you is he, he made it, he wanted to call everyone to do something now. He said, we have to make a choice now. He said, now is the time for bold, unprecedented action. He said, it's not only the right thing for our world, but it also makes clear economic sense and is possible within our lifetime. And the third thing that he said, which says, you know, we've got to do something now is after 21 years of debates and conferences, it is time to declare no more talk no more excuses, no more 10 year studies. So just to, just to summarize again, he used strong emotions, he used visual um, descriptions, he made it personal to everyone in the room, and he said we need to make a choice now. So when you think about your presentations, there's some really good, great ways that you can deliver a powerful message that's going to actually um, appeal to the people that you're talking to. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for next week's lesson.